Welcome to Crazy Shit in Real Estate, a weekly podcast where I walk you through some of the wildest, most unbelievable stories you'll hear from the world of real estate. If you like real estate and you love crazy, this is the podcast for you. Before we get any further into this episode, I've got some information to share. This episode is sponsored by Follow Up Boss, one of the leading CRMs, client relationship managers for residential real estate, tons of top producing agents, and some of the fastest growing teams out there are using Follow Up Boss to increase lead conversion, eliminate busy work that you're not doing anyway, and frankly, deliver a higher class experience in real estate to everybody who chooses you as their realtor of choice. So if you're going to keep listening to this, which I know you will, there's more information and a personal review of Follow Up Boss. For more information, go to followupboss.com slash crazy. What are the things that a buyer should look for in figuring out how much personalization is even possible? I think once you see their home and you know their space requirements they have and what they're looking for, then you can go into another space and see what spaces are there. And just because it's a dining room now doesn't mean it needs to remain a dining room. Like it could be used for another use. And then I work with a lot of homes that are like 1920s. And they have massive living rooms, massive, and like also sometimes fairly big dining rooms and things. So those spaces aren't even going to be used. Like I worked on a project a few years ago and we took, they thought they needed to add all this space, but we were able to work within just the existing footprint. But we took this massive family room and used part of it for a dining room, which was cool because then it had a cool fireplace in it. And then we used half of the, or, you know, a chunk of it, a third of it at the back for like a mud room and a half bathroom. So just like kind of seeing like where there's just space that's too big, like, cause that's, you know, you often have those spaces and then you can cut those up into some smaller chunks just to make it work. And so speaking, their needs. Of, speaking of a 1920s house, what's your favorite era of house and house design? <sighs> You have to pick one. You can't just say it depends on the house either. (laughs) I would probably say, you know, those early 20th century homes from like, you know, from 1900 up to like 1920, 1930, just because the, the character on the exterior is just amazing for the normally. And then just amazing details and things like that. And also on the inside, it normally has just amazing casework and crown molding. And it's, yeah, beautiful fireplaces, just all those details that you don't see in homes today. So, so of course, the premise of the show is the crazy shit in real estate. And all listeners, whether they're in real estate or just normal people who enjoy the stories around that are curious to know what is Heidi's big story of the episode. So I'd love to know what thing you've seen or heard or experienced in real estate that just stopped you in your tracks. Okay. So I told y'all that I would do a review of follow up boss, you know, because I'm your friend in real estate and I did. Now, you know, there's a blue million CRM out there. I mean, if you go to any Facebook group, every realtor's like, which one should I use? Which one should I use? And you know that these CRM, which are client relationship managers or customer relationship manager, whatever you want to call it, it's truly a system that's just designed to help you know what to do next because you're very busy and you're a multitasker in real estate with all those different tasks and balls up in the air. You need something to help you stay on track and that's what Follow Up Boss does. Now this thing, this cell phone, not a CRM y'all. When you save a name and a phone number in there, that is basically a Rolodex. Follow Up Boss is going to take the names and phone numbers and also help you know what to do next so you can maintain these relationships with your neighbors. Because that's what this is about. Real estate is not about serving just prospects and clients. It's about taking great care of your neighbor's needs in real estate. And if you'll use a tool like Follow Up Boss where they remember you, oh, they might even call you when they're ready to buy or sell again or when their mom and daddy do or their best friend or their kid and you want to be top of mind, that's what a product like Follow Up Boss will do for you. 
truly, it's going to change your business when you start paying better attention to people. They don't have to know you use Follow Up Boss, but they'll totally understand that they are being heard by you. So now there's a free trial for my people because you're loved. Go to followupboss.com slash crazy. No credit card is required. And frankly, because you're my people and we made an ask for you, Follow Up Boss said, yes, you get double the free trial. That's actually enough time to log in, put some pieces in it and watch it change your business as it has for so many realtors and teams nationwide. Again, go to followupboss.com slash crazy to start your free trial today. So one fun story I have is I have a client that they had bought a property and it had an older home on it and they were going to be um, burning it down and um, to make, make space on the property for their, for their brand new home. So the woman had found um, in the existing house, this huge box of Playboys. Oh, so they knew that firefighters were going to be coming in to um, burn it down. So she plastered all the walls within the house with Playboys so that when they came, when they came in to like set it on fire and burn it, like, yeah, they just had something to laugh about while they were there. So, Yeah. I wonder if you check with collectors first, because some of those old Playboys are worth big money, depending on who. I'm sure they were. She didn't care. She just thought it was funny. She's like, this will be so much fun. They're going to get a kick out of this. So super fun. Right. (laughs) Yeah. I'm sure they were shocked when they walked in the door. But yeah. I do love that you brought that up because a lot of times in today's market with a lack of inventory, we do see people that will buy something that's beyond being rehabbed and they want to tear it down to build their permanent house. And Mm -hmm. I think sometimes people forget that the fire department can often use that property as a training facility instead of just taking the house down. Do you mind hearing what steps they went through to get the fire department to use that house? Did they have to place an application? Were there any fees involved? Do you know any of those details? Yeah, I know. I don't know that there's fees involved. I know that if they allow it, Um, If they're able to do it, you can write off the value of that structure that was burned down. That's good to know. It's it's huge. Um, But I know that, you know, there's a couple things that go into it. Like they have to go in and take out all of the things that, you know, that could off gas toxins during the burn. So they have to go and strip things like that out. So if there's too much of those type of materials in it, then they can't do it. But also if there's a bunch of mature trees around the home, they can't do it because that could then create a much bigger fire. So it has to be on a piece of property where there's, you know, some space for them to actually do a controlled burn. Very good. So for the record, uh, Heidi and I are not accountants. So before you go burning down your house, check with your tax advisor about the write-off quality of that (laughs) house, but never would have thought about the tax situation. So that's a really cool insight to have. Okay, now don't forget to go try Follow Up Boss so that your business can continue to expand in professionalism and then you can meet some more crazy people yourself. I really appreciate Follow Up Boss sponsoring this episode, but mainly I appreciate them for giving y'all double the free trial time with no credit card required. So make sure you go to followupboss.com slash crazy and then let me know what you think. I'll see you guys next time. Oh, you're enjoying this little clip? Well, the rest of the story is available on any of your podcast apps. Just go search for and subscribe to Crazy Shit in Real Estate with Lee Brown.